All right. This disc is just aluminum. I, I put a screw through the middle with a lock nut so that it will spin. This disc has a top layer that's mu metal and a bottom layer that's aluminum, just like the other disc. But we have six magnets north up and this is mounted to a 12 volt, 3000 RPM motor. Uh, 3000 RPM is what Alexei Chekirkov says to use. And it is also in the range for uh, spin stabilized magnetic levitation. A Levitron, so to speak, works in that frequency range. So I uh, have a nylon bushing to isolate the disc from the motor because I need to apply high voltage. I have these uh, isolation feet on it. So when it sits on the ground or on a table, it's not shorting out the ground. And um, so right now I hooked it up to this power supply so I can spin it up. You can see the magnets are spinning. It's really cool. And uh, the light's giving it some glare. But if I take a piece of bismuth, you can feel the vibration of the magnetic field in the bismuth. I feel it even more with a magnet. Um, so I'm gonna show you here. If I take this disc and put it on top here, it does load the motor. I'm gonna throw off the power supply first. So the paramagnetic aluminum and the magnets drag the aluminum around with it. So if you ever wanted to spin a superconductor, this is just a conductor. I mean, if you wanted to spin a superconductor without making contact with it, um, that would be a good way to do it. Well, you all have a good night.